Hey everybody, it's Post Games here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 here with the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica, where we just had a disastrous war against the Pope, and about like a half of the known Catholic world it just didn't go very well. Uh they just had a death stack, and none of my allies could coordinate themselves to do anything of importance. So lucky enough, some ransom prisoners brought my debt back a bit. But we're mostly just going to have to sit here, kind of chill. And I guess focus more on attacking Italy, because apparently attacking the Pope right now is a death sentence. Like, I think if Italy didn't join, we could have won. Also, the Pope has some, like, death stack. See, there's, there's a claim on Pisa, but that's a, lot of, that's a lot of gold I don't have. Thanks for the offer, though. I'm now sad. Your bent lower is real strength is very focused and keep your eyes open when your wife, Queen Dana, enters. She crosses the room and inspects the scrolls over your shoulder. Perhaps a fresh pair of eyes might prove health helpful, dear husband. There's a chance that I could there's a chance that she could I could gain proud. But she doesn't like me. Or I accept her to allow her to help me, which of course I will. My wife has received an education in theology, like yourself, so she quickly grasps the nuances of the problem as you explain it. The two of you set to work, discussing and comparing translations. Dana is a most competent theologian. Within the hour, you have laid the groundwork for a promising solution. I can, we can like each other a lot, like by 20 for 10 years, or I can... We can have sex. Which is just... Yeah, let's do it. Can't... She falls in love with me. She falls in love with me. Great. Love it. For 200 years. Loves me for 200 years. Which is a very long time. Okay, control... Raise my levies so that they are not... Why do you automatically take the stupidest path? I have to raise levy, and I think my wife is trying to kill my son again. No, my son-in-law is trying to kill my son. No. Get out of here, please. And the people don't realize that when I when I do this and I like them raising up in arms against me does nothing but make me spend more money, which reduces the amount like extends the amount of time that I'm I'm broke. Which is why they're rebelling in the first place. So they're just not helping at all. Okay. No help. How's things going here? Surprisingly decent. I like it. You go, Serbia. Uh, you're also now losing to Hungary's getting their revenge on you for the last war they had. So, but at least you're at least you're winning this, I guess. Yes, that's a positive. Oh, three children like a guardian. My son could probably use a guardian. That would be smart. Uh, and it can't. Why can't it be me? Why? Why can't my? Am I? Do I already have wards? Why am I? No. Do I? No, I don't have any wards. Why can't I be my son's guardian? What? Oh, there I am. Yeah. Beautiful. Next one. My niece. 
Don't really care. The last one's my other niece. No, wait. There we go. My grandson. This one actually kind of matters. Make me again. Forward. And we finally. Wait, come on. Have money. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of problems with my territories now. Which means we're just going to kind of have to sit here and let those be flushed out as we stack up money and prepare for war with Italy at some point in time. Did I lose all of my alliances after that? No. Still allied with you. And, okay, so I still have all my alliances. Which is funky and good. But everything's at like half capacity. I'm not even making that much money. Because I've just got so many problems with all of my territories. Oh, terrible. My army's so tiny now. Well, something was already flushed out there. Wow, they really just keep rising up. Just keep doing it. Every single time. You can be disbanded. Okay, we still make money somehow. Stand those down. Okay. We're getting a bit of bonuses from that. Okay, call to arms in the Bulgarian Holy War for Crimea. The last time you tried this, this went very badly. We all remember that this didn't go very well. So you're trying it again against the same guy. I don't I don't think it's going to work. Why are my people so angry? Calm yourself. Legitimately calm yourself. Raise army. Unite together. Merge attack. Problems are getting a massive crossing penalty. Which is not not fantastic. And disband units. Okay, yeah. So our capital is losing some of these negative things. The rest of them aren't. Which is a little shucks. My wife is pregnant with another kid. All is good. In that way, because I was really having troubles with that first wife of not having kids. Because I need those alliances. That's how I get stuff done. Yeah, so we're. I, it seems like we're kind of snuffing out stuff here. The Thief's Guild, Smuggler's Ring, hopefully are next. My wife will give birth under auspicious stars. Gotta keep track of this stuff. All right, we're kind of we're losing it in losing the negative traits here a bit in some of these other territories of mine. It's a maid's dispatch to help my wife out. Yes, I do have a de jure claim against Rome, but I just fought them. And we have we have a fairly long Frick, these I we're just gonna get we're just gonna get uh, a revolt in every territory of ours. Official new rule. Things are getting better, but they don't seem to care.
but I guess we just continue to kill them. Which is also not good because dead people don't pay taxes. But I have another son. Good to know. My daughter is so much older than everybody else. Yay, more gold! And we got rid of the Thieves Guild there in the capital. So progress is being made, and that's what matters. And this holy war is still not going good. Of course it doesn't. We shall watch from afar. We could help, but I don't want to, and I also don't really have the money for it. All right, so I'm going to continue gathering up all this money. And okay, yeah, we got nothing but a smuggler's ring, and apparently it is giving me the update here. If we check here, I think this does. Yeah, smuggler, smuggler's ring. Uh, local thieves guilds, robber bands, robber bands. So it does give us notifications, which is good. Patience is a virtue. Get patience, which is which is just just good. Just an overall good trait to have for your kids. Oh, and we've got a thieves guild gone from here. So now this, this territory is fully uh, back to normal. Still got, apparently got incompetent ruler, which I don't really know how to get rid of. I, I don't know what that really means. What, what is, what does that actually mean? Because he's a decent ruler. I don't, I don't know how to get rid of this. This uh, modifier here. Okay, we we can get we can get a claim on Pisa. We're not going to go into debt. All fine and dandy. And then I guess we start on. I guess we'll go for Siena. Start on uh, Tuscany, the Duchy of Tuscany. And I guess we could go for Almafi or Long Longobardia. Um, but I don't know. Every every time this guy's just got so much gold, okay? That if like every time that Italy Italy's tried, I think, three times already to attack Almafi, and they've lost all three times. So I think this is pretty much invincible uh, for now, because they can just they can just murk up and crush your ass. Good luck. What is this place? Oh, it's just it's just a county. Um, he simply cannot bear the sight of my half brother Bernardo. What with his perfect body and happy life, after seeing how much he cares about keeping a balanced diet and healthy body i started to wonder if i couldn't ruin him with just a well few well placed words so you're what i'm what i'm hearing is that i'm just incredibly jealous of my half brother who has who's, who has who has a club foot i don't it's like oh he's such a such a healthy but yeah he was born with a club foot but like also he's celibate so i don't really know what the huge positives here um, this is, yeah, this is too, this is too petty. I'm not an a-hole. Also, I need to marry this man off to somebody. Um, because I just realized I might as well not waste perfectly good family members when I could be marrying them off to people. There he is. 18-year-old half-brother. I think that's, I think that's my only half-brother. Yes. So, you. Not even matrilineal. What a dick. What about my son? 
No. France just France just really doesn't like my my people. Okay. Let's go to Germany. Hey Germany. Uh you got you wanna you want some of this? Okay, he'll take it. And I think yeah, that can that can get us a an alliance. So I got my half brother. My young half brother. And we'll 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 yeah, we'll marry Germany. And I think can can that get us can that get us an alliance with Germany? That would be a good question. Cause that would be phenomenal. And it can. Mmm, baby. Pretty much means that uh all we gotta do save up some of that beautiful, beautiful moolah. Okay, some of that money, 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 good time. And we can crush Italy under our feet. The puny kingdom with all of our beautiful alliances. With uh, this guy, the high priest. Oh, really? He, he, lost, he lost his kingdom. Um, but can we get an alliance? Oh, we can get one with all of Hungary once again. Beautiful. Okay, we have renewed our alliance with Hungary. So now we have even more packs. We have Bulgaria, Germany, Hungary, Serbia, and a and a and a uh, high chief within Hungary, which now makes us beautifully overpowered. Ah, oh, we've got that would have been great. That would have been a phenomenal alliance back when we were fighting the Pope. That would have been great. Okay, you know, you know how much I would have taken? 13,000 troops. Hmm. What about uh, Lotharingia? Do you do you have any children? No, you just got one dot. You just, you just had a lot of boys. Holy, do you have a lot of boys? It's a lot of boys. And, hmm. What about the Byzantines? The Byzantines always have some children. They never like to marry them to my children, but they're always there. They're always an option. Not an option. Good to know. Screw you too, Byzantines. I don't know why the, the Catholics just love me so much more. Like the Catholic, the Catholics just just prefer me a lot more than the orthodox do which is weird because we are we are technically a her heresy of the orthodox church who are you war with france why didn't you call me into this are you just getting like are you just getting slapped silly probably just getting slapped silly france really needs to get itself in check Somebody's got to help this man out, Arles. Or France is just going to conquer all of them. Oh, I need a good alliance, but I can't seem to figure out who. What about you? Can I can I get an, somebody with you? No, all your children are old, terribly, terribly old. Ah, uh, why is there so little kingdoms? And why did you have to be seniority? Just a terrible, terrible way. You. Your heir, okay? Uh, let's get your 11-year-old daughter betrothed to my 9-year-old son. Let's go for it. Perfect. Can I get an alliance with the King of England? No. He doesn't like me enough. He only wants 42. So let's just get this while I can. And we can just we can just have overpowered alliance, which then we can use to just kick Italy to the ground. It'll be hilarious. Hi, right, you're you're a pretty good pretty good teacher. 
All right, well, I'm gonna actually gonna leave off this episode here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below, drop a comment, say whatever you want. I'd love to talk with you guys. If you wanna do yourself a favor and me a favor, turn that little red subscribe button to a gray subscribe button. And lastly, if you want to have pre-warning on whenever I stream, or if you want to potentially play games with me in the future, join my Discord. It's in my YouTube About section. Free clicks and you can join. You guys have a really good rest of your day.